In this video, we are going to learn how to find equivalent fractions and how to simplify fractions. Equivalent fractions means equal fractions. Finding equivalent fractions. To write equivalent fractions to a given fraction is, to, is enough to multiply or divide the numerator and the denominator by the same number so it's enough to multiply or divide both terms by the same number in this example we have the fractions 20 over 8 and 40 over 16 are equivalent are equal fractions how here we have 20 over 8 and 40 over 16 and he said it's enough to multiply or divide both terms by the same number here we see that 20 is divided is multiplied by 2 20 multiplied by 2 it gives 40 and then 80 is multiplied by the same number 2 8 times 2 is 16 so 20 over 8 and 40 over 16 are equivalent are equal fractions since the terms the numerator and the denominator of this fraction are multiplied by the same number multiplied by the same number in the other example we have 5 over 2 and 30 over 2 and he said they are not equivalent fractions why they are not equivalent 5 is multiplied by 6 and becomes 30. 5 times 6 is 30. And then we have to multiply 2 by the same number 6. 2 times 6 is 12. And here we have 2. What he did is he multiplied 5 by 6 and multiplied 2 by 1. 2 times 1 is 2. 5 times 6 is 30. They are not equivalent fractions since... He didn't multiply both terms by the same number. He multiplied by 6 and 1. In order to have equivalent fractions, we have to multiply them by the same number. Here, we multiplied by 6. Here, we could, we say, we could say that 5 over 2 equal to 30 over 12. These fractions are equivalent, but these fractions... 5 over 2 and 30 over 2 are not equivalent. So, equivalent fractions by multiplying both terms, the numerator and the denominator, by the same number. For example, 20 over 8 is multiplied by 2. 20 times 2 is 40. And 8 times 2 is 16. So, 20 over 8 equals 40 over 16 so these are equivalent fractions or by dividing both terms by the same number which is called common divisor so 20 divided by 2 is 10 and 8 divided by 2 is 4 20 is divisible by 2 it's an even number also 8 is divisible by 2 because it's an even number 2 is a common divisor for 20 and 8. So, we divided both terms of the fraction, 20 and 8, the numerator and the denominator, by the same number 2. And we had the fraction 10 over 4. In this case, 20 over 8 and 10 over 4 are equivalent fractions. Why equivalent fractions are important? They are useful for adding, subtracting, comparing fractions that do not have the same denominator. Simplifying fractions. How to simplify a fraction? Simplify means have a fraction that has simplified terms. To simplify a fraction, we divide the numerator and the denominator 
by the same non-zero number that is a common divisor to the two numbers the numerator and the denominator in this example if we want to simplify this fraction 20 over 8 so we have to divide both terms by the same number which is a common divisor so we divide by 2 20 divided by 2 is 10 8 divided by 2 is 4 then 20 over 8 equals 10 over 4 but we see that 10 and 4 are simpler than 20 and 8 so we did a simplifying the fraction another example we could divide by 4 so 20 divided by 4 is 5 and 8 is divisible by 4 it's 2 so here we have 5 over 2 which is the simplest form of 20 over 8 5 over 2 is the simplest form of 20 over 8 since we cannot simplify 5 over 2 anymore these fractions are equal 20 over 8 equal 10 over 4 equal 5 over 2 and 5 and 2 has the simplest terms the terms are the numerator and the denominator so to simplify is to divide by a common divisor as a summary we could find equivalent fractions by multiplying both terms by the same number by dividing both terms of the fraction by the same number which is called common divisor to simplify a fraction we just divide both terms by a common divisor